Hello everyone. Today's talk. Would be behind the Romans shield. And so if you were able to visualize for a moment, just like the many gladiator like fight scenes we've seen and Greek uh, Greek war movies we've seen let's just visualize for a second what we are the gaze behind a shield that is about to go into chaos you see right before you go into chaos you always have a sense of stability within you it is because you know that your presence opens ability by your mere intention so similar to how you intend something and you move your hand like you want to pick something up your hand moves you can have this intention intensified in deeper ways where you're working more with your internal reality your internal reality is in a sense uh, bursting into a meaning that is transcending so it's kind of like a lift off meaning feeling in your psychology that nothing has changed but it's like you've seen something else you know so behind that shield also means that we all have a shield we all have an ego we're all trying to uh, walk into this world uh, regardless of whatever scenario in some way and we see we have urges, we have instincts, and we have different forms of understanding. When you look at any human being, and this is the, the beauty and consciousness, when you look at any human being, when the human being, let's say it's a human being who's never had access to any knowledge or book or anything, in their mind, when that human being reaches the end of its suffering where it cannot continue longer, the hope begins to come from its abstraction. So before we die, our minds do flow into a sense of abstraction because it is how the mind, in a sense, begins to move the veil. It's like suddenly a death is when the veil begins. It's not that the veil has come off. It's simply just that the whole thing is about to fall apart. So when we try to preserve something, when we try to hold something, when we try to keep something, if we're not aware that the shield is only purposeful in its use if all your realities and imagery that you can all your beliefs they're only purposeful in their use you will not have too many beliefs that are irrelevant you will simply see it's not a, it's not that you need to have beliefs you need to at first have tolerance because the human being is recognizing unexplored aspects of his consciousness that's what Mr. Within is here to do to communicate that the hidden and unhidden are uh, never meant we should not uh, become more aware Self-awareness is crucial at this time. We need instant self-awareness through an awareness of now. Now again, to continue, suddenly we realize that uh, for a second uh, we are under the weight of our shield. And so the light has gone and we're in that pitch blackness of this battlefield and there is a weight and it seems that death is close and we're doing our, all our actions and suddenly you begin to see that you let go of the shield and suddenly the soldier has more flexibility in some way. And this, this warrior has flexibility in recognizing that survival does not mean your reality is going to have an ending that's relevant to your conditioning. You thinking that your life is meaningful based on this temporal aspect, you know, is is not really providing you clarity if you don't recognize that the temporal does not serve you aside from giving providing you observe an ability to be observant all forms provide you an ability to be observant we may even find that what perhaps inspired achilles was the fact that the speed of the individual can be more intense so that if you in this world put an effort so direct you will see that it's as if you're looking for something so much that you immediately find it so ability 
is in some way the ability to use the shield and let go of it when greater understanding is communicated, when greater movements are needed. Our ideas and egos are similar to this shield which is protecting us in our social arena, but at the same time is not the purpose because the whole purpose of the sword and shield is to uh, make you let go of it so there's no more fighting. You fight so there's no more fighting. No human being wants to fight forever, you know. You fight so you know you no longer fight. So every gun, weapon, immediately after they were used, they serve their a purpose and should have been destroyed. Do you know? We are not understanding that our valuation of what reality is and our plan of existence has been won based on a story dynamic. But stories lead to an emptiness that makes creation wonder uh, why transparency was always one with vision.